Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm back today with Craigie. So we have an exciting food video for you guys today. We thought it would be cool to try branded food versus unbranded food. Um, just to see that if we can tell the difference, what we actually prefer is the cheaper version better than the brands that we all know and love. Yeah. Um, so what's going to happen is we're going to be blindfolded and we will give each other a little try of, say for example, the McVitie's Jaffa Cake versus the Tesco Jaffa Cake. <laughs> Sorry, I, I was thinking they were Tesco basic, but I think they're just called Tesco, right? The anyway. basic stuff has that stock well. Oh yeah. yeah, so we... Yeah, so this should be exciting, you know, we love food and I'm putting my bets on I'm going to be freaking good at this challenge, right? I don't know, I'm not going to commit to anything because I'm wrong. I'm just going to lie. I'm, just going I'm to more embarrassed when people are like, oh, I mean, like this brand, blah, 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 and then they taste test them and they don't know no, what the it difference. Is. So yeah, that, I'm actually excited to see if you can tell. So let's just get into it, yeah? First up, we're just going to go in with the Jaffa Cakes. And we obviously have McVitie's, a brand that is well known over in the UK, and Tesco's own version of Jaffa Cakes. Yeah. And if I'm well, honest... Is that a biscuit or is that a cake? It's a biscuit in my eyes, but I know it's technically a cake. I'm going to ruin all my hair I have now. My luscious hair. Right, I'm really. going to give you... Can you see? No. Okay, so I'm going to go in with the first Jaffa Cake. Are you showing them which one it is? Yep. Okay. Here it is. Well, I do it by texture, I just eat it. It's the texture thing cheating. Yeah, just taste it, do it smell it. Do I have to eat it all if you don't want it also? No. Okay. You just make it. Okay. okay. And then I'm going to give you another Jaffa cake. Yeah. Okay. I feel like that just tastes like a normal Jaffa cake. Okay. But then, no one tastes it. I think that's the real one. Your second one's the real one? I think. Okay, well, just. It seemed thicker or something. Maybe there's more in it. I don't know, God, that's hard. <laughs> oh no. Another second one. Uh uh. Ah, Baba Rock. The second one was the Tesco Jaffa cake. Was the taste fair? I preferred that one. Wow, interesting. Next, we have Reese's Peanut Butter Cups. These Mr. Choc Peanut Butter Cups from Lydell's. Liddell. Liddell's darling. Oops, so I'm going to in this one. Yeah. Ooh. Right, put your, mind, uh, put your mindful, blindfold, eye mask, mask. Oh, it's up. so weird when you can't see. Mm, okay. uh, right, so you've here. lost, you lost your first one. Right. Just sad. I need to take that out of the paper so you can't Guys, uh, I should, if I don't get this, I'm going to be so cross with myself because it's Reese's. Okay, first of all, I'm going to give you this one. Okay. Of oh course, I don't mouth. know if I can eat the whole thing. Just take a big bite out of it. Okay, that's the first one. Mm-hmm. That's not Reese's. That is not, that, if that's Reese's, what the hell? Well, then we did, didn't you hear? <laughs> right, okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. That's not Reese's, and no this way. this is your other one. Right, this is Reese's. That's Reese's. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> right, this is Reese's. That's Reese's, yes. Yay! Gone back. No, to be Why fair. Why is that one really bad? No, it's so peanut butter, right? Where that's like, you know the Reese's stuff? Oh, yeah. You get what I mean? Okay, so so far it's one point to moi and zero points to Craig. Yay. Okay, next up we have the branded. Chili Heat Wave Doritos and then the Chili Heat Wave non branded. Uh, tortilla chips. Tortilla chips. So They're from Little again, aren't they? Yep. Put your mask on while I open. I have to open both of them. Yep. Just in case I suck this pack there from, you know. I think I'm covering this up slightly so I can't work out from the discreet rustling okay, which crisp is First crisp is here you go. I okay. feel like I need to try these two. That's the little one. Okay, second crisp. I think that's a little one. That's got to be a little one. Yeah, Dorito's are the second one. Yes, it's a big change. That is so easy. Try. Oh. They're not horrible, but they're just like... The Doritos are way more flavoured. 
They're like a flavour explosion. No, these were like really cheap, so... Next we have Pringles sour cream and onion versus Snacktastic sour cream and onion. <laughs> I'll open these ones for you. But then Excuse like me, you don't even, you don't even look at them. Don't you? I can't see anywhere in my mind. Okay, ready? I'm putting yeah. the mask on. Now. Again, I love. Well, you can tell by them. looking at them. Well, that was like the Doritos. I felt like I could tell by looking at them. So that's that's this one, and then that's a legit a legit one there. They're very different looking. Oh, okay. What? Okay, there's your first one. Okay. Okay, that's your first crisp. Okay, okay. It was your second crisp. Do you want to make a remark yet? Oh. I will also eat one of them. Right. First one was Pringle, second one was Little. Am I right? Yes. <laughs> Am I? I think so. I think I forgot. And I'm pretty sure I can be the second yeah, one. Yeah, yeah. So the taste is very similar. It's actually the texture of the crisp that gives it away. Was it a smoother one than the one you thought? Yeah, look it's, at the difference in them. So the, the, they're like more melt in your mouth. They're crunchier. Does that make sense? Mm. And that's like more of like, like a bite or something to it. There, you got it right again. Ooh. I think. Next up, we're going to go in with the Coke. We have the branded Coca-Cola and then we have Coke the Coke Zero, sorry. And then we have the Tesco basic version of Coke Zero. Let the, let the fizz settle down. Oh, don't you worry, you, you girl. You're my keen ears, I'll know. Right. I feel like this will be easy. Okay, so... First up is this one, okay? How did I done this a cup? Oh yeah, sorry. Okay. <laughs> well, that's f***ing vile. Holy language! I mean, that's flipping vile. Okay, and next up is oh, that this is one. that is definitely fake. Oh, that's bad. Okay. I really hope I'm right, because I look like a right idiot. That's fake. Yes. Yeah, oh, it's absolute. So two points each. It's absolute urine. Hey, okay, next we have one of the best sweets in Britain, Percy Pigs. And then now, these are relatively new, from Little. What is it, Harry? Henry. Henry Hippo. You can see how much they absolutely ripped off Percy Pig. Right, now I'm a Percy Pig fan, so I, uh, if I don't get this right, I'm gonna be shocked at myself. Okay, wait, what are you saying, Harry? Don't shake for a wee squeaking. Okay, so you'll know when I about it. So, just put it straight in your mouth, because the shape's a bit Okay, different. so you want to them in my throat, then? Yeah, if you want. Okay, so I'll go with this one first. Oh. Okay, that's that one. Well. It was very like ASMR, isn't it? Sorry. I'm the chair. I am going to be a bit judgy and say that's the little one, but not. I'm not giving. Wow. There but. Oh! I know what! I really want you to get it wrong. No. That's m &S. But I actually think the little one slightly tastes better. Am I so like super zoom on my face? What? <laughs> really? Rip. So is the second one m &S? Yeah. Right, I prefer the little. Sharp. It's way better to use. I need an investigation. And they're, right, the m and ones are 169 mm -hmm. And those ones are like, what, 65 p or something? Okay. They're like more fruity flavour. Oh no. Do you agree? Yeah. Told you. Everyone get down the little and buy your Percy Pigs from there. My world's been shattered. Aren't they better? Do you agree? I can't continue. Also, I'm so glad I got that right. Okay, hey guys, up next we have chocolate and we have the classic dairy milk. The best chocolate in the world. I was about to say, if you watch me and Craig for a while, you know we freaking love yeah. dairy milk. I said, I feel there's one we would put one of those. And then we have the basic, simple, this chocolate we could find. It's That's very uninspiring chocolate. It's the packaging, but wait, that doesn't mean that the chocolate's about self. You're going to have to place that in my mouth because you'll, I think, you'll we'll be able know, to tell. We'll yeah. know from the, the 
design on it. I'm gonna keep them in their bags just so. Right. So this is this one. Okay, open. That's little. Okay. And then this is... Although I would say, that's quite nice. You ready for the next? Yeah. Wrong. That is the stuff, boys. That is <laughs> nice, sir, that's the stuff. That's the remote, that last one. To be honest, that's not bad, actually. That was 29p. That's not bad. If I, if I was homeless and had 29p, I'd go buy that. I would have more present concerns. If I was homeless, <laughs> I'd be trying to get a house. We are homeless. That's the one. That's our problem. We're spending all our money on chocolate. Oh, do. Yeah. So I think we're like all 4-4. Four, four. What? Or like we've both got the same amount, right? Yeah, neither of us have got anything wrong yet, have we? Well, you did. You got the... Oh yeah, for you. Damn, right guys, next up we're going with the classic Kinder Bueno versus... Against, uh, Bologna. <laughs> Bologna. So this is like a basic version of Kinder Bueno from Liddell. Liddell, so yeah. Seems you've got a lot in Liddell. Yeah, I'll about this one too. I think yeah. this is... Ooh. Right, am I doing this or we both do it? You do it because I've touched it too much. Okay. Again, this is a, like a... There's a bit of a disparity in shape in these. No, I love a Kinder Bueno, so... Okay. Crunch instantly, because the shape gives it away. Okay. Okay, so... Crunch, crunch, crunch! There you go. Mmm! Okay, so that is one of them. Okay, okay. And so let me lift both of these, and I can lift one of them up and be like, it's this one. I'm just ruffling the oh, nafters around. I love Kinder Okay, Bueno. so she just had that one. Okay. And then, you ready? Yep. Crunch, crunch, crunch. Oh, oh, oh. Which one be which? First one Kinder Bueno, second one the budget. Yeah, you got it right. <laughs> but better again. I got it right again, I'm so good. I'm just saying I've got quite good taste buds. I hate you. Do you right. want to try them? Yeah, sure, so. Okay. So the one in the cellar finds obviously the. That's it puts you under a lot of pressure. You, you should really like... get it wrong. Yeah, especially when you're really confident. You'd be like, Right. Ready? Yeah. Remember, crunch, crunch, crunch. Oh. Okay. Oh, ah. Ready? Open your mind. Right. Crunch, crunch, crunch. Mmm. I want to say that's bueno, because it's lovely, but then I don't know how good the other one is. Mmm. Okay. Crunch, <laughs> crunch, crunch. Oh, shit. How did you get this? I just think I'm very, like, I'm good at thinking of the flavours. It sounds so big. I think they taste identical. They are very similar. But I think the second one seemed like there was, like, less in it, maybe. So I want to say the second one is the unbranded one. Wrong. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> second one was Kinder Bueno. Are you serious? I swear. They're really nice. And they're way cheaper. There you go, folks. You heard it here first. Well, it looks like you are going to win. <laughs> so, 5 4. Yeah. Okay, guys. Up next, we have the digestives. And we have the classic McVitie State chocolate digestives. The main biscuit brand. The main. And then we have Miss Molly's. Okay. Can I can you see? Oh, you can see those from there. Obviously, you can lift them up. That's the other thing. Uh huh. Are you supposed to eat them chocolate up or chocolate down? Because I always eat them chocolate down. Well, see, that's wrong to me. I always eat them chocolate up, but. Well, funnily enough, they actually say what they are on, on the top. One of them has different writing. Am I to hold it or no? Um, yeah, I don't think that really matters. So, I'm going to go with this one first. So, there you go. I might just take a little nibble. Yeah, yeah. I'll eat the same biscuit then. I'll set it in front of them. I'll set it in front of you. Okay, I'm that's, pretty, that's that one. I'm pretty sure I know which one, but I'm not saying it. Which one is it? I, I think that's Miss Molly's. Okay. Mm. Then, Is it? Hold on, I'll tell you. Right, there you go. And that's the other one. What do we think? Mm, right there. Oh, hold on. This is very... This is very freaking hard. Hold on, I need to do something. Wait. Whoa, this is the hardest thing. 
So which one do you think? Which one's which? So what's the one you're eating now? Which one's that? Right. I'm gonna say this is Miss Molly's. Ah, oh, yeah. And that one. Damn it, you were so close to getting it wrong. Yeah, that is, you're gonna be mind blowing. That is so hard. The taste is identical. <sighs> Why you'd get digestives now, I don't know. Really? See, I'm doing your service here, guys. Hit me up with a Becky. Right, hold on, I'm just gonna mix them around. I have them in front, but yeah, I, I, can't really, I really can't tell. Okay, up first is this one. Honey. Sorry. Oh, what the hell? It's because remember, I've had a wee bit of it. Mmm. Mm. You forgot how good. Digestives are. Digestives are. And then up next is going to be this one. Okay. I ate too much of it. No, no, it's fine, it's fine, take your time. <laughs> it, this is the hardest thing I think we've done. The second one's from Vitties. Yep. That's him. Well done. There's a wee. There's a slight difference. But there's like a little added thing. When you bite into the biscuit, there's like a little added like sweetness or something mm -hmm. to the biscuit. That give it away. But it's so well, slight. But not enough. I wouldn't bother buying normal ones anymore. But isn't it so slight? Is yeah. it very, very slight? Well done. It's not worth the game at all. So it's now six, five Screw or you, McBillies. You're winning, I know that. Next we have water. So we've got smart water, which is vapor distilled water with added electrolytes. Which is the only decent water you could ever buy in Florida, we always thought. <laughs> Against Stockwell, which is Tesco's basic still spring water. Friends, that's like a pound, and this was 17p. Right. So I'll set it in front. Do you want me to go first or you? Yeah, you go first. Okay. I don't think we'll be able to tell. Yeah, I don't think I'll be able to tell, or else it'll be a building. I'm going to turn these around so. Okay, now make sure you know what's going on. The good folk can see. Okay, I'm just gonna do that. So, ah, get that. Oh, sorry. So I don't know which one. I'm gonna put them to do that so you don't know which ones I'll give I also one. close my eyes in the last I know, so do I. I have it right. There's the first one. You got it? Yep. So that's this one. <laughs> this tastes like water. Okay, that's water. Now, I'm quite fussy with water, so I wonder if this will be interesting. And that's the other one. Okay. Yeah, so that's this one. That's the smart ore. Are you, are you committed to that answer? Yeah. Nope. Whoa. Whoa, that one tastes a bit different. There's so, no dude. It's all those electrolytes, dude! <laughs> but literally, like, there's no, like, there's not a big difference. It's really hard. Right, close your eyes and you do it. That's what I mean. Someone puts out, oh, I only drink Fiji water, and it's like, it's really? literally What's water is really pretty much all the same. You ready? Aye. Okay, first one is this one. Sorry. Okay. Yeah, but it tastes like water. There okay. you go. Okay. And then the second one is this one. There we go. Sorry. And that tastes the exact same. Okay, well, I don't have a clue. You have a clue? <laughs> I don't, I don't I, they taste exactly Any the same. Any slight difference, you'd say? No. I think I took a bigger gulp of the second one, so it felt like it was pure. I was talking out my ass. I think maybe the first one was smart water. No. Oh, Second damn it. one was smart water. I don't. I mean, I just guess. I don't That's really... what I mean. It's not so hard. Like, so we really just buying into it, really. It's a pile of crap. Yeah. There you, you have go. it, folks. You heard it here first. You heard it from the horse's mouth. Okay, guys. Up next, we have. If you're from the UK, something we all love: wine gums. Wow. And these are the branded virgin. Virgin. The branded virgin. The branded version Maynard wine gums, and we've got the unbranded version street. No, sweet. sorry, sweet corner wine gums. Street corner wine gums. <laughs> I don't want those. First up is this one. Do I need to eat it? Can I oh, okay, eat no. it? I meant. Sorry, I meant. Can I touch it? I'm touching. It. What color did you give me? Hello. Oh. Why the hell is it gonna be yellow for? Because I thought the I thought all the other colours would be too distinctive. Yellow's horrible. I can't eat. Sweetie. Citrusy garbage. Okay. The next up is this one. I bloody watch every video. Okay. Oh my goodness, you're stumped. Is it that good? See, I wasn't expecting this. Mm, 
I think the second one was chewier, which makes me think that the second one is the unbranded ones. Wrong. Oh, second fuck. one was wine gums. Oh. <laughs> I thought you were going to be really. I thought because do you know what? I suck at they this. They really smell. The wine gums really smell, or the branded ones really smell, where the unbranded don't. They, they're quite subtle smell. Okay. Right, it's let me try. Come on, I'll be the boss right. of this. I'll actually be nice and give you. No, give me like an orange. I don't. I don't mind any color. No, well, give me the red ones. No, honey, because that might be scum. too easy. Just give me an orange. Well, do you feel quite similar? No, I'm giving you red. I think. Right, I remember what bag they're from. Yeah, I forgot which bag they're from. Oh my goodness, I'm like, we're picking them <laughs> up. Yeah, fine, I'll just give you orange then. Right, right. okay. Well, that's easy because it says it on it. Okay, so anyway. Okay, so that's that one. There you go. Yeah. So that's, I don't know if you can see it. I don't want to rustle the packs, but that's that one. If you can see. God, they are, too. Yeah. She both. Which makes me think this is the middle one. Really? And that's the other one. Sorry, oh God. I think that one. I'm just gonna put these back. I think that one belongs in there. That one belongs in there. But I don't know. Right. Sega one's Maynard. I hate you. Right. And I'm gonna tell you this I now. I hate you. The little ones are better. Way more flavour off the little. Sorry. Go get your sweets from little guys. Get your mobiles out for the lads! I don't know why I said that. Next guys we've got Maltesers, the classic Malteser brand. Who makes these? The classic Maltesers brand. Maltesers. Is it Mondelez? Probably. They make Mondelez. Them. Maybe. Right, so Maltesers. And then we've got Poundland's version of Malt Balls. Poundland is basically like... There's too many people. It's like Dollar Tree from America. That's what Poundland is. Right, do you want to go first? Um, yeah, sure. Okay. First up is this I'll just one. I'll just eat it, shall I? One, two, three, go. Right. And second up is... That's really nice. But I feel like it was a bit small. This one. Actually, no, I feel like the chocolate's cheaper. Three, two, one, open. Mm, that one's got a nice aftertaste. I don't laugh, no. No, I'm just, uh, no sorry, one. no sorry, I wasn't laughing. I was just laughing at you. <coughs> your description. Oh, it's killing me. I think the second one's Maltesers. Yeah. Yes, I got one right. Thank you. Well, I go. You can take your mask off. Don't you? Oh yeah, sorry. Hi. <laughs> right, I'll go with this one. Okay. Oh yeah. I'll just open my mouth so I don't feel. I have them. a bad habit of forgetting. Right, open your mouth. Oh. Oh, missed. No, be careful. I'm gonna just pop it in your mouth. Okay, so I'm gonna go with that one first. Oh wow, that's that's definitely not a Maltesa. But okay. What makes you say that? I'm just tell. Instantly. Yeah. I'm that's so good. I'm the, so good. My palate's so refined. The malt is just not. The malt? <laughs> the malt is not the same. All that malt. Right. Malteser. Am I right? That's a Malteser in the second one. Yeah. You can't be spoofed. Gordon <laughs> Ramsay's going to be proud of me. Yeah, I'm sure he'll be watching. Hi, Gordon. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine. Um, they look awful. But their city is quite good. They're not bad, though. Yeah. But you can't be able to either. Next up, guys, we're going to go in with another drink. We've got the world famous Red Bull. We've got the sugar free version because you and Craig like sugar free stuff. Yeah. And then we've got Tesco's Blue Spark. Now, I like both of these. And you've actually been drinking Blue Spark more than Red Bull. Yeah, because I'm a cheapskate. Right, three, right. two, one. First up is this one. Okay. Oh, sorry. Good boy. Okay. First impression is it's Blue Spark, but I don't want to. You want to shake the boat, kit. Boat kit. I don't want to. Yeah, I don't want to shake the boat. You <laughs> rock the boat. Yeah. I don't want to scuttle the vessel. Oh. <laughs> that one's more perfumey. That sounds stupid, but I think it might get what I mean. Now, I don't know. Is the perfumey taste a thing that's been added to make it like Red Bull? Which means it's the cheap one? Or does Red Bull actually taste like that? Oh no, I'm so conflicted. 
I prefer the first one. Okay. Just go with but your heart. Telling me, someone's thinking. telling me that the second one is Red Bull. Yes. Yes! The second one. I you got just, it right! The one you just had Red Bull. Wow, I prefer the other one. Yeah, you prefer Blue Spark. That's the first one. Okay. So that's this one. Okay. Okay, so that's that one. I just slammed the book down at the same time as you're doing the one lifting. And that's the second one, which is this one. Second one's Red Bull. God damn it. Can you just get one wrong, just for me? You can't tell, but I prefer Blue Spark too, actually. Yeah. And we have another savoury snack. So we have KP, the branded dry roasted peanuts, and then we have the non branded Tesco version roasted dry peanuts. We really should have kept the receipt. No, these were. So we could talk about prices. Yeah, well, I know for most things. So these were two pounds, and the oh. Tesco ones are like seventy-five p. Oh, okay. We were having not taking receipts because of COVID and the environment. Now I will say these come in a nice resealable bag, the branded oh, version. Wow. So that's yeah. where the money goes. That's where the, that's where the extra one twenty-five goes. Okay, first up is um these ones. Okay. I don't really, really eat really eat nuts very often. I love a good nut. <laughs> <laughs> I do though. I love nuts. Okay, they're nice. Next up is these ones. Oh, bloody hell. The cooking on those are better. And those nuts seem more fully formed. No, that sounds stupid. I like a fully formed nut. Why am I still my mask on? Okay, what are you doing? Don't look at any of the packet. I don't have a clue. We're never looking at them. I think. The second one was the KP ones. Wrong. Oh, for fuck! <laughs> no, not too big a bundle. Okay, so there's the ones. That's KP, I think. But anyway. Yeah, that's them ones. Okay. Just want to get those swallowed so I know. Swallow that nut. <laughs> oh, this is hard. Oh, this is very hard. As much you prefer, it doesn't necessarily mean you think it's that one, but which one do you think is nicer? First one. You think the first one's nicer? Yeah. I'm going to say first one KP, second one Tesco. I hate you! Did I get it right? I hate you! Did I yeah. get it right? But, oh I prefer the first one, so I yeah. prefer KP. And you prefer Tesco? You prefer Tesco, yeah. Interesting. Okay guys, up next we have, we have to stop and go and make these. We have pot noodles, we have the classic Branded pot noodle chicken and mushroom. That's like the classic flavour. And we have the unbranded. This is from, we were going to get Tesco ones, and they were really little at the time we got these. Newgate Express Speedy Noodle. It was like 20p or something. Oh, hi, Benny. You okay? Hello. Right. Okay, so you're going to have to put them in my mouth, so be very gentle. Good boy, you right. sit. I was talking to Benny, guys, because she's all still quite the <laughs> Okay, be right. gentle. Yeah, too, do I have a blow on it? No. Wait, they've been sitting in boiling hot. Just touch it with your tongue, just make sure. Uh-huh. It's alright. I'm very risk averse for heat. So that's the first one, which that is, is definitely this one. Basic. Okay. I feel like with these it's hard to That is so bland. Hard to spoof. Yeah, wait, take a little bit, make sure it's not too hot. And then it's gonna be dripping out. Oh my god, sorry, I couldn't work in a care home. <laughs> they are SVP, get that up. Okay. Second one is definitely pot noodle. Yeah. Very easy. easy. Even from the texture of the noodle. Well, the fact that you can, they're actually full noodles. That's yeah. why I'm struggling to lift them. Okay, let's go, let's go. Right. <clears throat> now careful, my wee lips are very sensitive to heat Okay, now. first one, now keep your eyes closed inside, okay? Uh, okay, okay. First one is this one, guys. Honey, it's not that warm. You're okay. No, I panicked. I panicked. You're okay. I panicked. Oh, oh. Right, that was the first one. Okay, I didn't get a lot, but that felt bland. But mirrors didn't get a lot. Okay, this is the second one. Also, because the pork's prongy, it's a bit like. Oh, Alright, right. be careful. I won't hurt you. You have to get this right, okay? Because I can't understand if you don't. Now here's the thing. <laughs> oh my God. That first mouthful, I didn't. I didn't feel like I got a lot. I'll give you another mouthful of the first one. Because I prefer the second one, I don't know if that's right. Right. Just sorry, wipe your wee lip. Well, that's better. 
Actually, oh, that's pot noodle. Yeah. The first one's pot noodle. Yeah. yeah. Okay. okay, guys. So, what, so you prefer pot noodle then? Definitely prefer We've pot got noodle. that right. So you've won now, I can't win. Right. To finish this off, we thought it would only be Nicola and Craig if we finished it off with a cup of tea. Yeah, boy. So we have the branded Twinings English breakfast tea. And then Next. we have... Tesco, what used to be value, but now they've called them Stockwell and Company tea bags. So these are the cheapest, cheapest tea bags. They were 50p for 80. Those are five pounds for 100. Right, so I will let you go first because you're the tea connoisseur. Okay. okay, ready? I have to get this. I'll be disgusted right. if I don't. Okay, I'm just gonna move over I don't know which one. First goes, one is this. Try and give me the handle if you can. Yep. Yeah, hope it's not too hot. The sweet gentle sip. Oh, all right, all right, yeah, that's all right. Okay. Yeah, that tastes like flavored water. Okay, so that was the first one, give it to okay. me. Okay. Okay. wasn't very strong, that. Next one is this one. Here's the cup. Thank you, honey. <laughs> I think that's... Oh fuck, that's Twinings, isn't it? Yes! I was like, oh, please go get this one. <laughs> yeah, the first one was like... Dishwater. Watery tea. No, it wasn't terrible. Okay. There you go. You got it? Yeah. That's the first one. Okay. <laughs> I think I know what that is, but I'll not say it. Okay. And that's the second one. Unless you put them down in the wrong places, but that's okay. Or did I? Mind tricks? What do you think? That's the Tesco one. Damn it! Is it? <laughs> yeah. That was quite hard for me actually, I don't know why. Whoa! That Tesco cheap ass tea. That's good. Ain't too shabby. Well guys, there we have it. That's not bad. I know. Lesson to take away from this video is that don't diss the budget, but, uh, the budget brands and Sometimes the cheaper alternative is actually better, right? Like the wine gums, the oh. Percy Pig alternatives were better, in my opinion. Yeah. So it just Most goes of it to show you. The only things that were bad, although, well. That you can't beat what Doritos. Was bad. I don't think you can beat the Doritos. Doritos at this point and the. Reese's Pieces, you can't. And the can't, Coke, the Coke was the worst. The Coke was so you terrible. You just can't recreate Coke. Yeah. And I, in my opinion, you can't recreate Reese's. You can have a good. Tried it that wasn't bad though. It doesn't, the peanut bar is too different. Everything but, was okay. Yeah, it's like everyone was definitely, that. yeah. Yeah, so. Were we forgetting anything? No. Maltese things were fine. Yeah. yeah. It was just the cook that was a massive let down. So, just show you, you can try all the cheaper alternatives and actually probably maybe prefer them. So, next time you're going to buy yourself a set of Percy Get Pace, off your high horse and buy the cheap stuff. <laughs> go to Lidl and get yourself a pack of Henry Hippos instead. Yeah. But yeah guys, that is going to go ahead and conclude today's video. I'd really appreciate it if you could give the video a big thumbs up and if you could subscribe to my channel just so that you guys get to see all our future stuff. Thank you so much for watching. Please. I'm sorry darling. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching and I hope you've all had a lovely week and I will catch you in next week's video. Love you all so much. Bye! Bye.